G'day, my name is Greg. I made a couple of videos on YouTube about how I use Vetric software to produce toolpaths for the CNC plasma. Uh, and I had a subscriber ask me if I could show a project from beginning to end. So that's what I'm going to do here. CNC plasma with Cut2D. Okay, I'm just going to create a new file, uh, appropriate size for what I want. And I'm going to just drag in a piece of... Uh, clip art or artwork here. Now this is something I downloaded from um, Plasma Spider Forum. Thank you very much Tim Eggleston for uploading it. Uh, it's fairly appropriate as right now it's only a few days until Christmas. Now the first thing I'm going to do is trace that. Uh, it's a black and white. Um, I'm just going to preview that and uh, that looks pretty good so I'll accept that close that and I'll turn off the bitmap layer which leaves me with just the vector I'll resize that to about the size that I want uh, I'll make it 300 high and um, now what I need to do is remove the Eggleston name so I'm just going to come in here and select those and delete them. Then I'm going to select this vector and go into node editing mode by pressing N on the keyboard. I'm going to hover over this node and press C to cut. Hover over this node, press C to cut again and press N to move out of node editing mode and delete that part of the vector. I'll select the rest of the vector and close it with a straight line with the join tool and there we have it. Um, I'm just going to move this down a little bit to be an appropriate position in my material. Okay now I need to uh, place the name that I desire there which is uh, Holt. Uh, I've selected this particular font um, that's just a bit of a personal choice thing. Um, I'm going to now just place it hopefully in the middle. Um, and I just want it to protrude just a tiny bit below that line. What I'm going to do is right click on it and convert it to curves. And I can see that the bottom of the letters are not even. So I'll just do individually. Um, place them just below that line. Then I'm going to come over here and select the trim scissors and go along and trim the bottoms of those letters. And make sure that I've checked rejoin trimmed sections. Now I have a uh, continuous vector. Now one thing I know from tracing um, bitmaps is there'll be lots and lots of nodes so I'm just going to reduce those a little bit by selecting curve fit and I'll go to Bezier curves uh, I'll replace the selected vectors and when I hit preview um, it should reduce the node somewhat it did a bit okay that'll be okay now the next thing I know is that um, because I want to cut this out on the plasma I have start points with lead-ins and often the start point will be in a, a difficult position. So I'm going into node edit mode and I can see the start node is over here. What I'm going to do is just come over here, press I on the keyboard and P which introduces a node and then makes it the start node. Now I'm going to go around and do that on each of these vectors. I'll just uh, select the node as appropriate and I'll come in back in just a moment when I've done that. Okay, I've gone around and um, positioned nodes in more appropriate places for start points. So now I'm just going to select the whole thing and come up here and create a profile toolpath. I'm going to set the depth at one millimeter. I've select my tool, which is appropriate for 1.6 millimeter steel, which I'm going to cut this from. Uh, I'm cutting on the outside and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a lead in. 
uh, a circular lead of two millimeters radius, four millimeters length. Uh, in this particular material, I'm not going to do a lead out, but I am going to do an overcut of one millimeter. Come down here and call this uh, Christmas and calculate. And there we have a toolpath laid out with the lead-ins in more appropriate places rather than jammed up in corners, which is often the case. Okay, now you will notice that um, as most software, Vectric is smart enough to know that when I say outside cut, it will cut on the outside of the outer shape, it will cut on the inside of the inner shape. No need to put these on separate layers and fiddle about like that. All done automatically. Okay, so um, what I'll do now, um, no, hang on, I'll just uh, go into preview all toolpaths and this is this feature is more appropriate to a router but it can be um, uh, used here uh, I'll set my color to um, use a solid color and then I can just double click on all the sections that I have cut out and it will give us a visual representation of what the part will look like. Uh, not some, not a feature that I use with the uh, plasma very much, but um, it is a feature of Cut Two D. Okay, so now I'm just going to save out that toolpath using the post processor plasma millimeters, which is the post post processor that I have written to uh, to run my machine and achieve toolpaths from Vectric software. I'm going to save that out and uh, I'll just put it on the desktop and okay now I will take that tool uh, G code down to the machine and cut it out After a quick run over with a flap disc and a can of rattle cam paint, there we have a finished product. Ready to take along today to a pre-Christmas family gathering, someone will claim it. So that's a project from beginning to end using Cut 2D. Uh, file preparation, manipulation and producing the G-code all out of Cut 2D. Alright, thank you very much for watching.